are going to start the one and only Ivan by Katherine Applegate. So I'm really excited to read this book with you. I read this um, with my daughter when she was in the fourth grade. So I'm really excited to start reading it with you guys. So as you can tell from the front, it is about a gorilla named Ivan. And then that is his friend Stella, who is an elephant. So let's get started. Okay. Our title page. And then one of the things that I love about this book is it has a glossary. A glossary is always a sign of a good book because it means it has a lot of really fancy words that we get to learn. And as you guys know, I love to learn new words. So some of the really great words in here describe Ivan, like um, silverback. That's the type of gorilla he is. So I'm um, trying to get a hard copy of this book at some point. You can check it out with Mrs. Messer in the Media Center too. And there is also an opening quote by George Eliot. It's never too late to be what you might have been. So that's something to think about. Okay, so here's another picture of Ivan. The first chapter is titled, Hello. I am Ivan, I am a gorilla. It's not as easy as it looks. Next chapter, names. People call me the freeway gorilla. The ape at exit eight, the one and only Ivan, mighty silverback. The names are mine, but they're not me. I am Ivan, just Ivan, only Ivan. Humans waste words. They toss them like banana peels and leave them to rot. Everyone knows the peels are the best part. I suppose you think gorillas can understand you. Of course, you also probably think we can't walk upright. Try knuckle walking for an hour. You tell me. Which way is more fun? Patience is the next chapter. So it's probably really important that we're all practicing patience right now, right? That we're at home with our families. It's kind of hard sometimes just being in the house all day. I've learned to understand human words over the years, but understanding human speech is not the same as understanding humans. Humans speak too much. They chatter like chimps, crowding the world with noise even when they have nothing to say. It took me some time to recognize all those human sounds to weave words into things, but I was patient. Patient is a useful way to be when you're an ape. Gorillas are as patient as stones. Humans, not so much. That's true, sometimes I have um, trouble being patient. Do you ever have trouble being patient? Maybe think of a time when you had trouble being patient and had to practice. How I look. I used to be a wild gorilla, and I still look the part. I have a gorilla's shy gaze, a gorilla's sly smile. I wear a snowy saddle of fur, the uniform of a silverback. When the sun warms my back, I cast a gorilla's majestic shadow. In my size, humans see a test of themselves. They hear fighting words on the wind, when all I'm thinking is how late the late day sun reminds me of a ripe nectarine. I'm mightier than any human, 400 pounds of pure power. My body looks made for battle. My arms outstretched span taller than the tallest human. Think about that. If he puts his arms out like that, it's taller than a full grown person standing up. My family tree spreads wide as well. I'm a great ape and you are a great ape. And so are chimpanzees and orangutans and bonobos all of us distant and distrustful cousins. I know this is troubling. I too find it hard to believe that there is a connection across time and space, linking me to a race of ill-mannered clowns. Chimps, there's no excuse for them. So think of all the animals that he just listed that you can just go and look at at the Cincinnati Zoo. Um, the Cincinnati Zoo has some great resources online right now that you can look at if you wanna see a chimpanzee or an orangutan or a bonobo. I loved the bonobos when my kids were little. We used to go see them all the time. The Exit 8 Big Top Mall and Video Arcade. I live in a human habitat called the Exit 8 Big Top Mall and Video Arcade. We are conveniently located off 195 with shows at 2, 4, and 7, 365 days a year. 
So if he's off of 195, that means he's on the East Coast. One I-95 runs up and down like Connecticut, and you can go all the way down there to Florida through New Jersey, where I'm from. Mac says that when he answers the trilling telephone, Mac works here at the mall. He is the boss. I work here too. I am the gorilla. At the Big Top Mall, a cr creaky music carol spins all day, and monkeys and parrots live am among the merchants. In the middle of the mall is a ring with benches where humans can sit on their rumps while they eat soft pretzels. The floor is covered with sawdust made of dead trees. My domain is at one end of the ring. I live here because I am too much gorilla and not enough human. Stella's domain is next to mine. Stella is an elephant. She and Bob, who is a dog, are my dearest friends. So here's a connection. He has a friend who's a dog. I have a friend who are dogs, right? Tank and Charlie. Do you guys have any connections to, to Ivan the gorilla? Think about that. My domain is made of thick glass and rusty metal and rough cement. Stella's domain is made of metal bars. The sun's domain is wood. The parrot's is wire mesh. Three of my walls are glass, one of them is cracked, and a small piece about the size of my hand is missing from its bottom corner. I made the hole with a baseball bat Mac gave me for my sixth birthday. After he took the bat away, but he let me keep the baseball that came with it. Hmm, I wonder why Mac took the bat away. I wonder if it has anything to do with this small hole in the glass. A jungle scene is painted on one of my domain walls. It has a waterfall without water and flowers without scent and trees without roots. I didn't paint it, but I enjoy the way the shapes flow across my wall, even if it isn't much of a jungle. I am lucky my domain has three windowed walls. I can see the whole mall and a bit of the world beyond. The frantic pinball machines, the pink billows of cotton candy, and the vast treeless parking lot. I love all the adjectives in that paragraph. Beyond the lot is a freeway where cars stampede without end. A giant sign is at edge beckons them to stop and rest like gazelles at a watering hole. The sign is faded, the colors bleeding, but I know what it says. Max, Mac reads its words aloud one day. Come to the Exit 8 Big Top Mall and Video Arcade, home of the one and only Ivan Mighty Silverback. That whole paragraph is in capital letters, which means it's really important. Sadly, I cannot read, although I wish I could. Reading stories would make a fine way to fill my empty hours. Once, however, I was able to enjoy a book left in my domain by one of my keepers. It tasted like termites. So let's think about that. If it tasted like termites and he can't read, how do you think Ivan enjoyed that book? The freeway billboard has a drawing of Mac in his clan clothes and Stella on her hind legs and an angry animal with fierce eyes and unkept hair. That animal is supposed to be me, but the artist made a mistake. I am never angry. And here's a picture of Ivan. See, he's looking very angry in that picture. And then there's Mac, he's dressed like a clown. Anger is precious. A silverback uses anger to maintain order and warn his troops of danger. When my father beat his chest, it was to say, beware, listen, I am in charge. I am angry to protect you because that is what I was born to do. Here in my domain, there is no one to protect. So I'm gonna stop here guys, because that's at about 10 minutes and I have learned that you can't post too long of a video on YouTube. So this is gonna be in a bunch of small clips um, so this is going to be our first one and look tomorrow, um, for our next one. So have a great night guys. Bye.